Hello and welcome guys. My name is Matt from Jazzco Consulting and today we're going to be doing another Microsoft Teams video. So this one is going to be looking at an app called Sign Easy and in this we can sign documents either internally or externally, maybe to a client or maybe to a new employee uh, signing their contract, something along those lines. So very simply, we'd go to the three dots as usual, find the app, just type it in and download, Sign Easy, it says nice and new. What it's going to do is it's kind of come up like this and you simply need to just make a little account as well. I'm just using a free version. There is a paid version with a couple more features, but it's very simple for the video, I'll just do the free version. Uh, in here, we've got our files of all the uh, documents and this is the actual app. But for this video, I'm just gonna click sign a demo document. Uh, usually you'd go across to the sign easy. It's gonna take me there anyway. So in this with our demo document, it's got a couple of different options that we can just show you for the video, but we need to do a name, an initials, and a date. So in across here in the left, we've got annotations. So we've got a signature, we've got initials, we've got a date, text, check, all those things. So to sign our initial, uh, to sign our signature, we just simply drag and drop across here. I can either draw it very poorly with my mouse, otherwise I can go across here to the type section, type my name, it's Matthew, and that. Uh, use that one. We can save this as our primary signature as well and then use it for later. But just for the video, we'll do like that. Uh, make it a little bit larger. Now for this one, we want to pop our initials down here. I'll just do an M. I'll just do this one. Oh, we'll just use the save the drawers one actually. We'll just use that. You can also change the colors, something along those lines. And finally, let's add in a date. So we'll click on the date here, pop in the date nice and simply. Now if we want to make this a little bit larger, what we can do is we can actually just click on it change the font size and that will increase as we go. And we can also change the format of how it is, how it looks as well. And we'll keep it like that. Uh, now, if we did want to add in a text, something uh, maybe about the document, we want to change something, let's click on the text and let's go change here. So we might want to change something, probably don't be signing any documents if you need to be uh, changing things, but yeah, uh, you can do that. You can also add a name and you can also add an email, which will be formatted correctly as well as a template. Uh, the next section is the check marks. So if we expand that, we've got checks, we've got crosses and we've got radios. So if we just wanted to tick something off, Matthew is now ticked. Um, we can increase the size, whatever we like, or if we want to delete that, we can click on delete. So that's all ready to go now. We've signed everything off, happy with that. Let's go, uh, we'd usually go finish, but I'm just going to click save as a draft just to show you uh, the uh, overall formatting here. So this is our multiple drafts we've got. Um, these are all our documents. What I would then do is I would click send for signature. We could then choose which document we wanted or we could upload it like this. Simply type in the email address of the person we wanted to send it to and a little message if we'd like and then just click send. Uh, but for the video, we won't send it. Uh, then it will go to the pending uh, section if they, we've sent it off uh, but they haven't got back to us or, or approved it or anything. Then after they've approved it, it will go to the completed section. So I hope this helps some of you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. But that is today's video, guys. I hope you enjoy spring. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.